friends, how are you? Kalpesh here. Today I brought you another educational video. And in this video I am going to explain what is matter. In this video, we are going to talk about some interesting things like what if you got an apple, you cut that apple into an extremely tiny, tiny part and you keep cutting it until you get something very very small. Will it be unstoppable? Will, will it be unbreakable? Would we not be able to cut it? And interesting properties of water. This is water in its liquid form. There's also water vapor, a steam that's in the air. That you, uh, if you boil water, it gets vaporized in, into its gaseous form. And there's also another form of water called ice, that's solid water. So how does it change its shape so quickly? This is so liquidy, but ice is so solid. And water vapor or steam is so gaseous. We'll be answering these interesting questions in this video. So, let's start. So, let's start off with what is matter? It's like, what are, what are the things that you see? See. Matter. Matter is anything that has mass, occupies space, and occupies space. Basically, anything that you can see, feel, smell around you is matter. What are the, there is, now there are three states of matter. You see, solids, liquids, and gases. Solids, and you know, this water bottle, not the water inside the bottle, but the bottle itself is a solid. The water inside the bottle is liquid and you know gases. <laughs> so, what is matter made up of now? Matter is made up of very small particles. Particles are minute part of matter called molecules. And these molecules can be further broken down into smaller particles called atoms okay now you'll say what is not matter let me tell you what is not matter the things that are not matter are thoughts time color forces etc let's see thoughts it's an abstract thing abstract means it's we can't see it we can't, we can't do and we can't sense it with our five senses. We can't see it. We can't touch it. We can't feel it. It's touching and feeling at the same. Sorry to interrupt guys, but please like and subscribe the video. It helps me a lot and motivates me to make other videos. And if you have subscribed, click on the bell notification icon to never miss any videos of mine. So, make the subscribe button grey from red. Solids, are, here you can see they are clumped together. They are tightly arranged. But liquids, their forces are weaker, so they are far apart. That's why, like, they, when you are moving them, they can flow. Because the molecules, like, the uh, below molecules come above and the above ones come below that's why now as i told you they are incompressible means their volume can't be changed and they're inexpandable as well means if they're incompressible they're inexpandable as well now gases gases don't have a definite shape or volume they can expand as well well as compress they don't have a definite shape and volume because like it said here they can expand as well as compress because the molecules in a gas are not bound at all they're extremely loose you can see like they're so loose that 
most of the gases escape and there is so less left. So, you can see that the molecules of the gases are so wide apart from each other. That's why they can be expandable as well as compressible. And they're, that's why they're not bound at all or they're extremely loose. And the air that is around us, that is that it's made up of many gases. Examples, oxygen that we breathe in, hydrogen carbon dioxide that we breathe out, hydrogen and nitrogen. There are also many other like methane, methane and what are the helium, sulfur oxide, all these. So, they, they are some, there were some examples of gases. Now, the third point, gases can flow as well as liquid. Yeah, definitely. Liquid can flow, gases can flow as well. One common misconception is that gases don't have weight. But actually, that's not. Gases have weight. We can't, they're indivisible. That's why people say they don't have weight. But, so they're like clumped together. They're tightly packed and arranged. But, the liquids are, you can see, and far apart. The like if solids distance is this, liquids distance is this. You are, you are understanding, right? Like, let me tell you. Now, now let's move on to the chemical characteristics of matter. And these the I hope you like thought the physical characteristics were so interesting. No. And the chemical characteristics are even more interesting. Let's see. Chemical characteristics of matter. Characteristics. There are... They, in the physical characteristics, we, we divided them into three parts. Solids, liquids and gases. Here also we are dividing them into three parts. Elements, compounds and mixtures. Now, elements are those substances which are made of similar kind of atoms. Example, hydrogen, potassium, oxygen, sulfur, chlorine, chlorine and nitrogen. Like, let me tell you. They have similar kind of atoms. Means, in hydrogen, if you can see, if in hydrogen, if there uh, in a, uh, uh, in a hydrogen if there are many atoms they are similar to each other means they are not different they are very similar means almost same they are and they are hydrogen atoms like hydrogen is made from hydrogen atom potassium is made from potassium atoms oxygen from oxygen atoms sulfur made from sulfur atom and so on. And like one other explanation of elements is also that they are pure. Because they are made from similar kind of atoms. So, so they are pure in form. form. And the second is compounds. Compounds are those substances which are made of different kinds of, kinds of atoms. Like water and salt. Like water. What, what is matter, water, water made up of? Water has two elements. Like it's made up of diff, two different kind of atoms. Of two different elements. Compounds like water. Water is made up of oxygen. Also represented, in, represented as O2. And nitrogen. Yes, the, as I was saying, I had a work to do, so I left. Yes, as I was saying, compounds like water is made up of two different kinds of atoms, like 
hydrogen and oxygen. It has two atoms of hydrogen and one atom of oxygen. And salt, you know, I hope, or maybe you don't know, let me tell you. Salt is made up of, of sulfur and chlorine. And now mixtures. Mixtures are two or more substances which are physically combined. Example, soil, mud, and sand. Like, soil is made up of like so many substances and mud and sand as well like you can see in compounds or two two or one atom of one type of atom and another one another type of atom different kinds of atoms and mixtures they're physically combined and they're like so many substances that uh, dissolved in it guys thank you for watching hope you enjoyed my video hope you learned something too so we'll meet in the next video until then bye guys